All right, greetings everyone. This will be the final installation of how to calculate uh, drops per minute uh, based on a volume to be infused. So let's take a look at that here. Um, we're going to start out with uh, just a random number. I've used numbers that are going to work out easily so that you don't have to worry so much about the math, but more so about the process and the flow of your work. So in this particular case, um, we're going to say that we have an order to administer 180 milliliters and we are requested to infuse that over a 30 minute transport time. All right, so 180 mLs per 30 minutes. Remember, it's hard for us to do anything in minutes, so just as we did in the last um, installation, the last video, we need to calculate what one minute's worth of volume is going to be. So let's do that. We'll do 180 divided by 30, and this will give us 6 mLs for every one minute. So now this is something that we can work with. All right, and we saw this before. We had this before. We're going to now convert this to the number of drops. So we want to do uh, the total number of volume per unit of time. So I'm going to say one minute. The next step that we want to do is we want to convert that into the number of drops per minute. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this six milliliters and we're going to multiply it by 10 drops per one milliliter and that's going to give us a total volume to be infused in the form of drops. So milliliters here they cancel out so we're going to end up with I'm sorry this is six milliliters per one minute and we're going to end up here with 60 drops every one minute. So this is somewhat helpful this is certainly the next step now we have to convert one more time and we want to know how many drops every one second. So that'll be our final conversion. So we're going to take our 60 drops that we have to administer over one minute period of time and we're going to say we want to get rid of minutes. So remember in dimensional analysis we oppose the forces so if the minutes is on the denominator we got to put them up at the numerator here and we're going to say that one minute is equal to something and that's something that we want to get to is seconds so we're going to establish this proportion and that proportion says that for every minute there are 60 seconds and in fact that's the case. So we're going to eliminate any of the uh, units that we can eliminate and in this case we're going to end up with drops per second which is exactly what we wanted to end up with. So drops per second and we'll just do the math 60 drops 60 seconds this is a division and so we'll end up with a one drop per second drip rate. So this is kind of cool. This tells us that every second we're going to allow one drop to fall in that drip chamber. And in this case, again, remember we're using the 10 drops per 1 ml set. This is a macro drip. And we're using a macro drip because in this case we're infusing lots of volume. When we get to certain drugs, in fact when we get to all infusions of drugs without pumps, which we don't have, we're going to have to use a micro drop administration set. That's going to be the 60 drops per ml. So 10 drops for the volume, 60 drops for um, for any drugs that we're going to be administering. So in this case the answer we're looking for is one drop per second. Alright, stay tuned to the next edition. We'll do a complete start to finish one.